Protest groups clashed in downtown Portland today. Opposing groups met in two locations, eventually squaring off at Pioneer Courthouse Square. According to police, medics helped eight people. Three of them were police officers who required medical attention. That includes one officer who got hit in the head with a projectile. Three people went to the hospital because they were assaulted with weapons. Three people were arrested. James Stocks and Maria DeHart were charged with harassment. Gage Halopowski is charged with assault. Those arrests come after a contentious chain of events that lasted for hours in downtown Portland. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel takes us through it all. Many of the protesters ended up here at Pioneer Courthouse Square. Police even closed the square at one point and called the gathering a civil disturbance. It started with two opposing groups. They're domestic terrorists. The Him Too movement held a rally at Pioneer Courthouse Square. And the Oregon Democratic Socialists of America met up with Antifa and others at Lounsdale Square each there to protest the other. If we don't come out here, then it's kind of like they win. The minute we stop showing up, um, they win, and we can't let that happen. The hundreds of people at Lounsdale Square started marching. They wove through downtown and the waterfront, trying to dodge police. Some of them threw garbage cans and e-scooters into the street. They eventually made it to Pioneer Courthouse Square, where the other group was. Move to the sidewalks and vacate the street now. That's where police declared the protest an unlawful assembly and civil disturbance. Repeatedly, they told everyone to get out of the streets or risk arrest or use of force. We saw police take away several people in zip tie cuffs. Most of the Him Too group left, but a few protesters stayed and clashed with counter protesters on either side of the street, yelling at each other, throwing milkshakes that police say may have had quick dry cement in them. On two separate occasions, we saw police use what appeared to be pepper spray to break up the crowd. At one point, Charles Stubbs got hit. I heard a can rattle, but I didn't know what it was until it was a little too late. Um, it happened so quick. Police now ask anyone who saw or has video of any violent assaults between 5th and 6th Avenue on Morrison Street to let them know. In downtown Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.